Welcome everyone to the Red Lounge. I am your host Rick Redman. As I told you in last episode of our Rams franchise, we are going to skip the last preseason game and we're going to move directly into the first game of the regular season. Now I do want to apologize for having this video post up a little bit later than it should have. I want to post this video before the actual game between the Rams and the Seahawks play. But unfortunately I had some work. I had work to be done and wasn't able to get it in get it out in time. But man, that Ram Seahawks game. Oh my goodness. I didn't get to watch the game, but I saw the I saw the score when I was at work and oh man, what a game. Rams coming out on top. I think 34-31 against the Seahawks in OT. So that was pretty crazy. Let's see. I don't know if we're going to replicate something like that in this in this game we're about to play, but we'll find out soon but anyways uh, I went through the free agency and I want us to get at least an upgrade on our center position so we got Roberto Garza to upgrade our O-line so so now we'll have at least a better O-line for protection but anyways that's pretty much the only thing I did before the game so why don't we get started here we go first game of the regular season between the Rams and the Seattle Seahawks so it's we're gonna ha it's gonna be an our home game. You see the match the QB match with Nick Foles and Russell Wilson. Let's get started. Is in the air as we join you for the start of another year of the NFL on EA Sports. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims and Phil. It's the start of a whole new season. There's a sense of renewal in the air and all kinds of hope. And how do you feel about getting this season underway? Well, there's all kinds of a lot of things. We got a lot of new players on each roster. You practice during the offseason. Very little during preseason games. Why? Because you're worried about injury. Can all these components fit together and give yourselves or give your team a chance to win? We'll find out some of those answers here today. And Tamon Austin is the one back deep waiting for the opening kick. And Steven Hauschka looks set now to kick it away. And the NFL season has begun. Alright, so here we go off the kickoff. Tavon Austin with the return using his speed. And gets at least to the 24-yard line for a 19-yard return. Alright, so first play for the Rams on offense. We give it up to our rookie running back, Todd Gurley who gets a nice eight yard gain. Then on third and four, looking to get that first down and Foles finding his target and that's Kenny Britt going up against Richard Sherman. And all right, here we go also on first and 10. Look at this drop back throw and he gets it to Brian Quick. Brian Quick, he could almost go all the way, but wait, there's a flag. What is this flag and oh no. Holding on Jared Cook. What are you doing, man? That cost us a big time gain right there. It could have set us up for a touchdown. So now on second and 15, Foles trying to regain those yards back as he finds the guy who committed the penalty. Jared Cook right there for third and inches. And then on the next play, trying to convert that short third down and we get it with Todd Gurley getting the ball for the first as he's already got 15 yards rushing on this drive and on third and eight in Seahawks territory Foles looking looking trying to find his receiver and it's Cook again but he drops it and not exactly the best throw by Foles either so we would eventually settle for a field goal and now Seahawks with the ball and oh my god did you see that hit by James Laurinaitis boom on beast mode all right so now second and 13 Russell Wilson play action looking to throw and oh my defender didn't jump for some reason so he gets it to Jimmy Graham for a big time game right there and oh what is this Russell Wilson hurt on the play and he's on the bench right now doesn't look like he'll be able to get back let's see what happened as you see takes a shot from Robert Quinn and is just not able to get back up so now Tavares Jackson will step in for him on the first play Tavares Jackson going into the game and he throws a pick interception 
by Barron. And Barron's going down the sideline and he could go all the way. High stepping it, touchdown. Rams off the interception so our defense is the one that gets us our first touchdown this season and you see Jackson was was under pressure through the blitz makes the errant throw and we get our first touchdown so far but let's take a look at Russell Wilson see what's going on with him and oh he's got a domino tear out three weeks so that's definitely he's not going to be able to come back so Tavares Jackson is going to have to step up for the Seahawks and we smell blood in the water as soon as we find out about the injuries he falls getting that completion right there now in Seahawks territory falls once again finding his target this time it's Jared Cook falls six for eight already so far 61 yards and then on first and ten inside the 20 falls looking Finding his other target, that's Stedman Bailey, and oh no, but he's hurt now, so Seahawks taking a little payback with the injuries now, as Bailey is not able to get back up. But then the next play, second and five, Foles pump fakes, hands it off to Gurley, who gets the first down right at the five yard line. And then on third and goal, need to get a touchdown right here. Foles throws it up to Kenny Britt in the back of the end zone, and is it a score or not? I believe so, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Referee signaling it's a touchdown, but... And it's a defensive pass interference. So we're going to obviously decline, and we get the score right here. But the weird thing is, why is Cam Chancellor guarding him one-on-one? -on -one? Where is Richard Sherman on the play? But anyways, we can't really deal with that at this point. We got a 17-0 lead here going into this second quarter as you see now Tavares Jackson's gonna have to find a way to get his get players going as he finds his receiver uh, curse right there and then now gets it to Doug Baldwin on second and eight gets a first down and then on the next play at Rams at our own territory he finds Baldwin once again so Tavares Jackson stringing up a nice few good plays right here now on second and ten finds Jimmy Graham for the first and then on third and five in our territory, gets it to Beast Mode Lynch, but he gets stopped before he gets the first down. So the Seahawks would have to just settle for a field goal. So our defense pays off. Going into the half, we are up 17 3. Now going in the third quarter, now start a third. Jackson going where he left off, finding his tight end, Jimmy Graham. And the flag was on us, so of course they would decline that. And then now Beast Mode looking for that running game. And that was significant because that was his biggest run of the day. And he only had five, only had one yard for five carries at that point. But now on third and five, Tavares Jackson finding his target. And it's Luke Wilson for the touchdown. So now Seahawks are only down seven as Rams now. We get the ball, handing it in the toss to Todd Gurley, who gets about nine. He's already got 50 yards rushing so far. And now on third and three, Foles got to find, get the first down. He passes it to Gurley in the flats, but he gets stopped on fourth and inches. So then now we'll go for it. And look at that. It's Trey Mason, the other backup running back, our backup, getting the first down. And then on third and nine, let's, hey, we say, hey, let's give it back to our running back, our backup, Trey Mason, who gets the screen pass and gets stopped. Actually, you know, he gets the first down, actually, surprisingly. So then now on the next play, Play action. Foles overthrows. Okay, that's fine. Next play, second and ten. Foles looking. He gets sacked and sandwiched by two Seahawks defenders. Okay, third and 17. A little bit long, but maybe we can still get the first. Foles looking for somebody. and Oh, he makes a bad pass. And it's Cam Chancellor with the interception. So now it's under four and a half to play. The Seahawks now have a chance to tie the game. So now on the first play, Seahawks get the ball. Jackson, play action. Finds the tight end, Wilson, and gets it right near midfield. Then on the next play, Jackson dropping back. This time he gets sacked by Robert Quinn, the one who injured Russell Wilson to begin with. Now on the next play, second and 17. Jackson finding Baldwin, and oh, look at the missed tackles. He's going down the field and he gets a touchdown. Oh, bad defense on our part. 
as we kept missing tackle after tackle after tackle so now the game is tied at 17 and now Foles is going to have to step up he's been kind of sluggish ever since that 10 of 13 start so but he's gonna have to step up for us as he first play gives it to Gurley and then on the next play it's Ryan Quick it's similar to that first play we had at the beginning of the game but this time touchdown and no flags no flags right no flags Ryan Quick with the score Pete Carroll in disbelief as we take a look at the replay almost similar to the gate play we got in the first quarter but was taken aback because of a flag this time no flags and this time it's a touchdown as Rams go up 24-17 now it's under two minutes to play Jackson and the Seahawks are gonna have to find a way to get and tie this game up as he gives it to Lynch off the screen and gets a first down on the next play Jackson looking for somebody he finds Baldwin who gets a first down with now under a minute and a half to play Jackson looking for somebody and oh we could have had the pick but one of our defenders deflects it I don't know why he did that we had that interception right there so then on the next play Jackson finding his target and his receiver dropped it it's curse oh what a costly mistake for them now on third down Jackson now has to find somebody to get the first and he actually goes deep down the field oh what a one-handed grab by his receiver now Seahawks in the hurry up offense now inside the 20 finding Lynch in the flats but he gets taken down Seahawks once again that hurry up offense on second and nine Rams fans feeling a little tension right now and oh Jackson finds Lockett at the back of the end zone for a touchdown and the game is now tied at 24 apiece with 36 seconds left to play and falls once again does he have another drive in him to lead his team down for a game winning score but falls first and 10 Ooh, almost throws that pick right there dangerous throw as you see Greg Zerline's long we got to get to the 40 yard line for his, his range as now falls second and 10 finding his receiver almost in double coverage right there and now we're right near midfield Foles looking first down trying to find somebody and Foles running it in diving to that red line not sure if he got it but at least he got the first down so then the next play 18 seconds Rams with only one timeout and he finds Jared Cook inside the 30 and then Rams calling timeout their final timeout with four seconds left to play and then Zerline trying to set up for the field goal but what is this the Seahawks call a timeout to try to freeze the kicker okay but now with no timeouts can be called by any of the teams Zerline setting up for the win he got it young Jeezy Greg Zerline comes away with the game winning field goal and the Rams quite possibly might even call this an upset even though division rivals Rams going home with the victory in the first game of the season gotta give props to Seattle though even with there's Russell Wilson being out for the majority of the game and Marshawn Lynch being held to one rushing yard one yard they almost won this game but in the end we come out with the victory and start our season 1-0 that's gonna be it guys until then this is Redman signing out